Fail the tape for this featherweight championship brought to you by the United States Air Force Reserve. Gabriel Braga, only 25 years old. Jesus Pinedo, still just 27. Pinedo is two inches taller. Both men weighed in at the limit of 145 pounds. The reach advantage on the arm favors the Peruvian. 40 inch measurement on both men's legs. All right, my keys to victory for Braga, the Brazilian. It's all about his counter striking and how composed he could be throughout this fight. For Pinedo, he's at his best when he's bringing that forward pressure, when he's bringing that high pace. It's also going to get very interesting once we get into the championship rounds because we have not seen Pinedo get tired. Andy Shepard gets us going. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a seven-figure fight. Five rounds of action for the PFL Featherweight World Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striking specialist and stands five feet 11 inches tall. He weighed in officially at 145 pounds and in 29 professional fights has earned a record of 22 wins and six losses and a single draw. Fighting out of Lima, Peru, El Mundo Jesus Pinedo. And his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, he is a striking specialist and stands five feet nine inches tall. He weighed in officially at 144 and one half pounds and holds a perfect professional record of 12 victories and not a single defeat. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Your referee and judge, Fernando Yamazaki. Five five-minute rounds. The first fight was a treat. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on! We are underway with Gabriel Braga in the green, Jesus Pinedo in the black and gray. Braga starts out the fight with the leg kick. That was crucial early in their first fight this year. See if he goes right back to that calf. He's looking for it. You wonder, Randy, how much it changes the calculus for both of these guys because they fought hard in the first fight to a near draw, quite frankly. It was a razor thin split decision, and that was three rounds. So you know you've got to fight, you've got to put in the work as Patricio Pitbull looks on. Bellator featherweight champion, maybe his future opponent for a PFL champ versus Bellator champ card is right here. Yeah, this is one of those instances where the guy who won the first fight doesn't necessarily get, you know, have the onus of figuring out what the changes were because the fight was that close. It was that tough. Tornado trying to dial in that long left hand. High kick is blocked there by Gabriel Braga. Pinedo picking up that lead leg, trying not to suffer any of those calf kicks. Stalking flat-footed approach here for Gabriel Braga. This is with the front kick to the face. And this is how Braga was able to control the first round in their first fight. He was backing up Pinedo. Pinedo now trying to do less of backing up, trying to blitz here. That's when he's at his best, when he's bringing that forward pressure. Braga looking for those jabbing, that stabbing style kick down the middle. Nice right hand counter from Braga. Through that one moving backwards, which is something that you'll see him do. One, two, sharp one there from Jesus Pinedo. Yeah, his hooks are extremely dangerous. And that's also crucial for Pinedo. He doesn't just throw one strike, he's throwing combinations. That's when he hurts you. 
Drives a left hand to the body. Oh, right hand there from Gabriel Braga. Pinedo put his toughness on display many times already in his fight career. 27 years of age as he grabs the dirty boxing for the briefest of seconds and already 30 pro fights. And Braga is just constantly switching his stances. It's what makes him so tough to compete against early in fights. He always gets off to a great start because it's tough to get a handle on what he's doing and how he's doing. It keeps you confused every time yeah. he switches leads. You don't know what's coming, which side is coming from. There, Jesus Pinedo countered the leg kick with another left hand. Still hasn't found a clean landing spot for it. And there's another blitz. Right hook landed over the left ear of Gabriel Braga. And Pinedo starting to find his range now, guys. Back to the low calf kick goes Gabriel Braga. And Braga bleeding out of his nose a little bit. Yeah, he took a couple of those hooks. Yep, he came right through the cover. But Braga, Pinedo just wades in and lets him fly. High kick glances off the right arm. And Braga just stays in there, just keeps his hands up, stays very composed in that pocket. And that is a dangerous place to be against someone like Jesus Pinedo. Braga so composed, even in these firefights, lying the level of experience. Obviously, he's been in the gym his whole life. Only this is 13th pro fight. Doesn't fight like anyone who's near being a beginner. That chin of Pinedo is unbelievable. <laughs> it's crazy. He takes the cleanest shots and just unfazed. He sure does. Well, one of the things that makes him so dangerous is just his disregard for what his opponents are capable of. We saw him take what Brendan Lochnane had to offer and just wade through it. Land the big knee because of it. Pinedo's got to be careful after he lands that combination. He drops his hands and keeps that chin up a little high. And Braga is very sharp with his counter striking. See if Braga takes advantage of it. And about the time everybody thought Pinedo was a fluke, he wades to the castle of Bubba Jenkins. And Bubba just had no answer for it. Couldn't stick with it. Final few seconds. Braga tries to roll out of the control. Pinedo oh, offers two yeah. from the top. 25 versus 27. That's the ages of Gabriel Braga in the green and Jesus Pinedo in the black and gray. Well, this is why I was so excited to watch these guys go at it for a second time. Picking up right where they left off. What a round one for both men. Dan Hardy, how did you see round one? I thought that was a really strong round for Pinedo. Of course, Braga is controlling the center with a nice calm guard, but there are shots getting through and you can see Pinedo's staying mobile and not allowing his legs to be eaten up in the same way that he did. And you've got to think, a busted nose for 25 minutes is going to affect Braga's breathing. That's the third time that we've seen Jesus Pinedo attempt that high kick, and each time Braga blocks it with a single arm, that can also do a bunch of damage. We've seen broken forearms, broken wrists. Yeah, that nightstick fracture is no joke. I've been on the wrong end of one of those. There it is again from Pinedo. This time offers a right hand and a straight left behind it. Well, Pinedo staying much busier here, showing much better lateral movement as well. Red Akimoto is cage side with Patricio Pitbull. Yeah, thank you, Sean. And this is a lot of fun tonight, right? We have the Bellator champions, some of them in the house watching these fights. And uh, Patricio, welcome into the PFL. What have you uh, What have you thought about the event and then also this uh, this fight right now? Thank you very much. I am very excited. Just here seeing who is going to be the champ. And I'm going to face him. You are going to face the winner of this fight, yeah? I believe so. How do you feel about it if it's Braga, though? You two have a, uh, a history together, do you not? Oh, yeah. His father is my friend. He's also my friend, but we are professional. We are going to make a, a, a great fight for everyone. Is this, Patricio, how, how much do you welcome this? this? This new challenge of PFL versus Bellator, a little bit of a storyline here coming in. How much do you really enjoy that development? All my life, I was a uh, dream uh, as a cross promotion, and now it's happened. I fought against the rising champion. I beat him, 
No, I'm going to beat the PFL champion. I'll let you enjoy the uh, the rest of the fight. Thank you, Patricio. Thanks, Brett. Thank you, Pitbull. Flurries here in the second round, halfway through. Two of a possible five. Featherweight championship, $1 million on the line as Gabriel Braga and Jesus Pinedo try and figure out which of these rising South American stars is the future of the PFL's featherweight division. Much more footwork for Pinedo this time yes. around. The circling, picking his times to enter, and when he enters, he lets four or five punches go, and then gets back out and starts circling again. He's not getting his legs chewed up with those low leg kicks, and you see the blood coming out of the nose and mouth <clears throat> of Gabriel Braga. I'm so impressed with Braga's composure, even as he's watching combinations come toward him. Yep. It's just a subtle movement, and he's making Pinedo miss a lot. And of course, Pinedo is the more active striker here. If you miss a bunch of punches for five rounds, it can wear on the gas tank. No indication that that's going to be a problem for either man so far, though. There he is doing that again, and just blocking a lot of those punches. And that can be very annoying. Punching elbows, punching the top of the head. But even with that defensive success of Gabriel Braga on several combinations, look at the damage that's already shown. I mean, Jesus Pinedo is throwing so much, and he's still landing. Braga bleeding from both nostrils, a little mouse developing around his left eye. And Jesus Pinedo now moving around the outside of the smart cage, trying to lead this dance with his footwork. That's hard to stop a nosebleed once it starts. Nice flurry here from Pinedo. Yeah, those, are, those are kind of skimming off the forearms and elbows, I feel, though. He's staying busy. He's landing little shots, but certainly would be landing a lot harder if those elbows weren't up. The left hand landed there at the finish for Pinedo, and Braga says, I'll take your leg out from under you. Now switching the stances. Jesus Pinedo's got to protect those calves. Yeah, he's attacking the other leg now, is Braga. Pinedo, though, still staying busy, and like Randy said, he's moving much better. Now going for a knee, which is smart to do against the shell. Yeah, come up the middle, split yep. that shell, and, and land that big knee. And he's long enough to do that. Yes. Ooh, big body nice kick body there. kick, yeah. Incredibly technical striking battle so far. I haven't seen a takedown attempt yet. Good scooping uppercut from Pinedo. Final few seconds of round number two. Round three to come on ESPN Plus. Gabriel Braga in the green. This is Pinedo in the gray. Round three begins. Dan Hardy, how have you scored rounds one and two? I think this has been a fascinating match, and even though uh, Pinedo is he's able to move and stay off that lead leg, uh, you know, stay the damage off the lead leg, we're still starting to see some bruising now, and I do feel like Braga is going to have to start picking his pace up. I, I have Pinedo winning uh, on both on all the scorecards right now. I feel like he's done great work. I feel like he's done damage that's mattered, even though he's not controlling the center. I feel like he's walking Braga onto stuff. For me, Braga's got to win these next three rounds. Braga oh, nasty oh, left hand and a switch knee. Braga shelling up. He's in trouble. Flurrying on his way back. What? Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Fernando Yamazaki calls a halt to the action at 58 seconds of round number three, declaring your winner via TKO. And 2023 PFL featherweight world champion, Jesus Pinedo. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, our 2023 PFL featherweight champion, my friend. What an incredible year you have had. So many wins, so many impressive performances. Just tell me what you're feeling right now. Jesús, ¿cómo te sientes después de todo este año, de toda esta temporada de PFL? ¿Qué está en tu mente en este momento? Eh, primero, mucha euforia, ¿no? mucha alegría. Y yo estaba preparado para este momento mentalmente. Yo sabía que este momento iba a llegar cuando empecé. 
el torneo al principio de año estaba 100% seguro que iba a ser el campeón del mundo. Yo siempre lo dije, esto es lo que quería, esto es lo que buscaba. Buscábamos la gloria, el cinturón y la historia para mi país. This is what I've been looking for. I knew I could get to this moment with all the training, with uh, my head coach. And uh, yeah, this is what I've been looking for, the glory for my country. Now this was a rematch. How much did you study the last fight? How much did you and your coach work on game plan to make sure this was a different performance? ¿Qué tanto trabajaste con tu coach, con tu escuela, porque sabías que esta era una revancha? ¿Qué tanto se prepararon para ese momento, para este momento en específico? Eh, eh, más que un coach, para empezar, es como un segundo padre para mí. Eh, venimos trabajando no solamente este campamento, sino muchos años atrás, eh, esperando este momento. No nos importaba en verdad quién está al frente, sea revancha o no sea revancha, esta pelea y vamos a venir a destruir y a llevarnos el cinturón a casa. A second, my coach is like a second father to me. Uh, we didn't care who was standing in front, in front of us uh, tonight. We we're going to take that win. And you've had incredible support in the arena tonight, back home in Peru. What's the message to your fans? Tienes, un, tienes mucho, mucha gente que te apoya en casa. Tienes un gran equipo. ¿Cuál es, cuál es tu mensaje para la gente que te está viendo en casa hoy? Eh, el mensaje que le puedo decir es que siempre se esfuercen, ¿no? Más que todo que siempre se esfuercen, no dejen de soñar. Y al final, algún día, tarde o temprano, va a llegar, ¿no? Como ahora, yo espero volver a casa, ver la sonrisa de mis padres, de mi familia, de todo mi equipo, y demostrarle a todo un país que los sueños están para cumplirse. With, with effort, everything is possible. I'm eager to go home and see my father smile, my family smile, everybody back home. They know it's possible now. I prove it tonight. Now, you are the 2023 champion. PFL have just purchased Bellator, you can see over there, standing in the doorway. Pitbull, will you come and join us, my friend? Potentially your first fight of the next year is against the Bellator champion, Patricio Pitbull. Fix it is here. How about that? <laughs> What you're witnessing here, folks, is a out. global MMA powerhouse coming together, champion versus champion. Oh, oh. You will see these fights in 2024. What a battle that is going to be.